What is up? It is Big Ben2493 here, back on YouTube. And before I get started, subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, how's it all going, guys? I got my new webcam. I'm here to talk a little bit about Steers football, the Cleveland Browns, and a plug. First off, let's talk a little bit about the Steelers. There's not much going on right now. Let's go burst is the only thing that pretty much we're talking about. Um, so I just want to talk about a couple things that Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh needs to do to get back to the Super Bowl next year. Like um, sign a great kicker. Uh, David Akers. I would love to sign David Akers. He is an outstanding kicker. Um, next thing to do, I would probably say give Lima Sweet a chance because... Let's be honest, he has great physical tools, but he does have mental problems catching the ball. You know, I don't really know what that's all about, but I do know that if we can get them fixed, he can be the next putts go burst. So hopefully we can get that fixed this season. Um, maybe the most important thing, resign Ike Taylor, honestly. I mean, I know he's not going to take the hometown discount, and he's pretty much gone, but I hope he stays, and I think he won't stay. Honestly, he won't stay, but I hope he does. Uh, it would be a shame if he were to leave, because that would leave us with McFadden and the rookies. God, Tom Brady would kill us. Holy shit. Anyway, Nissan Ike Taylor, or the guy I can't pronounce from Oakland, we need to... You know what I'm saying? Like, Pittsburgh needs to spend money this offseason. That's what they need to do. Spend money. Be like the Washington Redskins, but smarter than the Washington Redskins. Spend money. I mean, this crap, how we don't spend money, it, it's not going to work this year because we need to get premium free agents this year that fit our system. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, hopefully, flows will album. God, what's his name? Flozell Adams does well. And, uh... I'd say probably the last thing is probably get rid of Bruce Arians when it comes to play calling duties. You know, um, he has some inventive plays. That's a 2 point versus Super Bowl. But it's about the timing. He runs some weird plays at the wrong times. I mean, I think that Mike Tomlin needs to take over and we'll get better results. Bruce Arians, you're a good coach, but your timing is way off. You call weird plays at the wrong times. You need to be gone with your... You don't need to be gone as a Steers, in the Steers organization. You don't need to leave. You just don't need to call plays anymore. Um, That would be really awesome if a couple of those things I just said happened. If, if they happen, you know. Um... Next, let's talk about the Cleveland Browns situation. Now, when 2 one says Cleveland Browns burned the two terrible towels, I didn't come in until pretty late to help Steel Town Chance. He didn't really need the help that much. But I came in, I gave a six-minute video. I was pretty good in it, by the way. But, you know, he thinks I was wrong. You know what? I was right. It proves the point why nobody has came to help Steel Town Champs. You know why? You are Cleveland Browns fans. Nobody gives a diddly squat what you do. It's really true. I mean, think about it. What have you done? Ever. No one cares about you guys. Even if... Okay, you form a group. You got like five or six guys and the Browns taking over. So what? So fucking what? You know at the end of the day, it's going to be Steelers and Ravens for the AFC North. That's why Matty B from CT, Steel Legends, Burrow 2 Burg Boy, and the others. They haven't really done much when you burn two terrible towels. Matty B said a little something, but not, not enough, you know? It's because you're Browns fans. No one get, it might be, you might be our biggest rival. But it, you're not any. You're a rival, but you're not 
it doesn't mean that robbery doesn't mean as much as it used to. It's a very low quality robbery now. It is the robbery in the NFL is all about the Spears and the Ravens. I told you this last video. We care about the Ravens and sometimes the Bengals, not the Browns. We might have a group now, but always remember, Steer Curtain Crew, much, 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 much better than Browns taking over. Okay. Now that I've taken out the trash, because I don't really respect any Browns fan. I respect, actually, I respect one Browns fan. He doesn't make videos, but I respect him. I don't respect any of you other guys, because you guys don't, you guys just don't do it enough for me. It's it just, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be cocky, but I'm better than all you guys on YouTube. I'm better than anybody in the BTO. I've been on here since last June. I know what the hell I'm doing. I know what the hell I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not anything to worry about, really. It's the Browns. Fuck them. Now, let's say it was Year of the Tiger, 513. Burning those two terrible towels. Steel Legends, Matty V, everybody be on his ass. But you did it? How many people cared about it? Steel Town Champs? Young and up and coming Steel Town Champs? And then I came in late. I just want you Browns fans to realize who the big dogs are around here. And the fact that we own this shit. You burn two terrible towels. Just remember who you're the fan of. That is the reason why you we don't care. You're the fan of the Browns. And until you prove to the NFL and every other fan in the world that watched the NFL that you are for real. No one's going to give two shits about what, what 2 one says Cleveland Browns does or what your all witness 23 does or Cleveland, Cleveland Team TTC, whatever his name is. Rick Dog, whatever his name. Eh, I don't like give a shit. It doesn't really matter. But done with that. I took out the trash. I'm done with the Cleveland Browns fans. They are shit. I'm better than all of them. Done. Now I want to give you a plug in, promote, whatever you want to call it. Let me say this. Do you, you guys remember Hude Jr., the one Bengals fan I respect a lot? Okay? He's coming back. He had a move, he had internet problems. He's coming back to YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to Hude Jr. He was always a good Bengals fan on here. He always talked about his team straight up. He was always great at what he did. I'm going to put his link down below in the comment box. Make sure you click on and subscribe to him. As a friend, whatever. Just subscribe to him. He's coming back, trust me, with a fury. And he's going to take out your Browns fans too. God. Even he's probably better. He, you know, Hootay Jr. is even much better than all you Browns fans. He's actually a lot better than all you Browns fans. His videos are pretty good. Anyway, that's it for me. This video is going a long time. I know I look so much better now. I'm just so happy with this new webcam. I mean, there's no lag. See the little month, little hairs and mustache. It's really nice. I'm so got, glad I got it. Probably my views are gonna go up. My subscriptions. It's pretty awesome. I just want to make sure, make sure you subscribe. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a minute. Let me see if this works. Let me see back my shirt here. Let me see back my shirt, sort of. What's the difference between a dynasty and wannabe? 130 miles away. Cleveland and Pittsburgh. But of course, there's four world championships because I got the shirt before Super Bowl 40. Just remember, Cleveland fans, Steelers fans are always better than you guys are. But anyway, that's it for me. Make sure you subscribe, add me to a friend, check out my Facebook, Tiny Chat, MySpace, all that shit is on my channel. Leave me shit. Leave me stuff to look at. This video is going on 10 minutes. I'm sure I can do it longer and you guys will be happy about it, but I gotta go. Things that I gotta get done. Make sure you subscribe to Today Junior. Peace.